We also have to be happy with why the genetic code has um, evolved to be based on the, the sequence of three bases as opposed to um, the sequence of one base or uh, two bases or, or four bases for that matter. And this all comes down to um, the ultimately the number of different uh, amino acids that uh, need to be coded for. So there are, there are 20 different amino acids. If the uh, genetic code was um, a one base code, i.e. you had um, adenine by itself could code for an amino acid, thymine could code for uh, a second amino acid, and so on and so forth. That would mean that only a total of four amino acids could be coded for, um, and that doesn't, mean, uh, that doesn't meet the required 20 different amino acids. Um, so we can represent that as four to the power one. So what if the genetic code was based on the sequence of two amino acids together? Sorry, two bases together. So a two base uh, genetic code. So for example, you could have adenine, adenine could code for a specific amino acid and then adenine thymine and adenine cytosine and adenine guanine and then so on and so forth. This could be represented as four to the power two. And if you actually go through all the different possible uh, combinations, that would give you 16 different combinations of two bases together, which would result in 16 different uh, amino acids. But that still doesn't accommodate for the 20 different amino acids that exist. And therefore, if you then have a three base, code sequence, so the, the, uh, the triplet uh, code that we've just been discussing, we could represent that as four to the power of three. That results then in over uh, 20 different uh, possible combinations and actually it results in 64 different possible combinations. Now, there aren't 64 different amino acids and this is why we find that for one particular, one specific amino acid, so I'm going to give the example of uh, glycine. So one particular amino acid can be coded for by more than one uh, triplet code. So for example, we've already, we've already said that glycine in our example uh, can be coded for by the triple code CCC, but it's also, glycine is also coded for by CCA and CCG, and finally CCT. And so the reason why that is, is that we've got these extra, if you like, different possible combinations of three bases, so as we said, a total of 64, um, and so often we find and, and um, different amino acids will be coded for by certainly uh, more than one triplet code. Uh, glycine's got four, some have two, some have three, some have six. Um, and this is where we refer to the code as being degenerate. 